Hi there, everybody. Eve here. Happy voting day. That's why I'm wearing my ridiculous um, United States uh, voting cape. Actually, it's my Wonder Woman cape uh, worn backwards. Anyway, so today I, I know voting is a very personal thing, but what I do want to talk about is uh, voting for dieting and how people who vote to diet and to restrict may be stuck in a perpetuating cycle, a, per a self-perpetuating cycle of overeating. And to do that, I have created this high-tech um, cycle for you to follow along of if the choices that you're making are actually per perpetuating overeating and being out of control with food. So the place that this cycle begins is at your thoughts and beliefs. So do you tell yourself over and over that you can't be trusted with food? Is everybody else around you struggling with food and are people around you on diets? Um, is it hard or impossible for you to remember a time where you did have a normal relationship with food or eating was easy? Do you set unrealistic standards about what your body should look like or the way you should be eating? And do these rigid standards don't include your body as it is or how your body is naturally? Do you believe that it's wrong to have a certain range of emotions? And do you live in a place of negative thoughts about yourself, about your body, or life? If so, that might be playing in to certain feelings. So you may end up feeling terrified about the next time that you may overeat. Or is there a lot of anxiety running through your body when you think about certain foods or certain places and the types of foods that might be there? Oops, you weren't able to see that. It says feelings there. Or are you feeling a sense of deprivation around the foods that you tell yourself you're not allowed to have? And is there a sense of self-rejection about yourself or your body or your life um, or your looks uh, uh, the way it currently is? If so, that might, be re that might result in certain actions. And some of the actions that people take that might perpetuate this cycle is planning a day of like teeny tiny meals or eating too healthfully or, you know, not planning meals at all. Um, or, you know, letting yourself get too hungry so you feel totally deprived and you end up eating whatever. Or is your environment packed with foods that aren't supportive? or foods that you have a hard time eating in a way that's easy and self-nurturing? Or do you distract yourself from your inner life, your emotional life, by, um, you know, working too much, gaming, social media, uh, too much exercise or food? If so, that's probably resulting in, you know, having a strained relationship with food, you know, poor energy levels, maybe even indigestion or a hard time concentrating. So although voting is a very personal thing, I want to help you out here and how to get to this cycle. So instead of voting for dieting, let's talk about voting for learning how to eat in a way that's nurturing, supportive, and eating um, in an attuned way that's aligned with your healthiest self. And that includes examining your thoughts and beliefs. How are your thoughts and beliefs around food helping you or maybe even harming you? You know, learning, um, telling yourself that you can be trusted around food or telling yourself that part of what you're re-establishing is a relationship with yourself. Learning how to um, tune into your hunger, actually stop when you're comfortably satisfied. I know um, this may sound a little bit abstract, so um, one of the first things I do when I start working with my clients is teaching them how to have an impact on the thoughts and beliefs. And um, the tools that I teach them, I use myself, and it's definitely transformed my life, not just around food and eating, but in every other area as well. And this definitely has an impact on how you feel. So it's very key to learn empowering ways to experience the broad range of your emotions. And also learning how to um, enhance your capacity to feel comfortable around all types of foods in any food situations. I might actually talk about that in a future video because that is so important. Learning how to be at ease in any food situation around any type of food. Learning how to um, uh, feel comfortable in your body by practicing acceptance and gratitude for your body, for yourself, for your life as it currently in, is, ends up having an impact on your actions. And a really important action to take, you could start this right now, is plan to eat 
meals. I know, that was very dramatic. I even paused to dramatize it, right? So, um, very dramatic. So, it's very important to take time every single day to have balanced, nourishing, and satisfying meals. Also, create time in your calendar just to be, to experience yourself. I know this is not an original thought, but so many of us are human doings instead of human beings. So it's really important to take time every day to be still, to tune in with yourself. And that really helps create fantastic results around body, around health, around food, so many other things that my clients get to experience and enjoy. So if any of this sounds too challenging, well, it's really important to get help now. There, there are several books out there like um, Intuitive Eating. I love that book. And there's so many professionals out there that are here to help you have ease and peace with food. So if your relationship with food is causing stress or drama or a challenge or interfering with your enjoyment of life, it's really important that you reach out and get the help you need. So if there's anything I could do to support you, uh, feel free to, if you're watching this on fa Facebook, send me a private message. But if you're watching this anywhere else, you could contact me on my website at um, vitamin eve at hotmail.com or my website, which is vitamineve.com, V-I-T-A-M-I-N-E-V-E.com. I hope that was helpful. Um, I'd love to know your comments and what you think about these videos and what you'd like to learn about next. And I hope you go out there and vote. Thanks for watching. Bye.